Yeah, can I get the uh, spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese sandwich? You want the spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese? Yes, please. What else can I get for you? Uh, medium pickle fries. What else can I get for you today? Uh, medium cherry limeade. Of course. And that's it. Your total is going to be 960 and we'll help you right out with that. Alright, thank you. Bring the action. What's up YouTube? Jmod back at Sonic for a new menu item. This is the spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese sandwich with the pickle fries and a cherry limeade. Um, all classics from uh, from Sonic. That's going to be classic if it just came out new. Whatever. Anyways, anyways. Total for the bill was $9.50. I gave her a $2 tip because... I feel obligated because she's coming out with in the cold. It's very cold out. It's uh, 31 degrees Fahrenheit. A few people in uh, Europe. That means it's really cold. That means zero degrees Celsius-ish. So let's see what we got here, guys. Got the bag. Pickle fries. The steak and bacon grilled cheese sandwich, guys. And of course, our drink. Inside the bag, we've got five napkins in one red straw. But before we go any further, the elusive, the clean, the invisible napkin. The pickle fries. The coating. The coating on these pickle fries tastes like the coating on an, on an onion ring. Probably the same thing. It's, it's uh, some of, these, some of these are crisp. Some of these are not. Nice dill flavor though. Mm. These are good. These are good. Pickle fries. I've been to like a Texas Roadhouse and they get the pickle slices. I think they're slices. So these are not probably not as good. A little bit on the uh, so, like I said, some are soggy, some are crisp. And of course, I prefer the crisp ones. But man, I tell you right now, these things dipped in ranch would be uh, so delectable and nutritious. Hmm. I got the idea to do this from uh, my buddy uh, Brainstorm from his Brainstorm Challenges channel. You want to check his? Check his channel out. Uh, link in the description, or in the top, or somewhere. Yeah. I thought that garlic butter or whatever butter and steaky hamburger they have. This is not a hamburger. This is steak, bacon, barbecue, grilled cheese. That is so good. Yeah, they get the little cherry sticking out the top there. See that? Little stem. Mm. Get that little bleach taste to it. I love it. Ooh, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the steak and bacon grilled cheese sandwich. Steak and bacon. What a name. You see that layer of melty cheddar cheese, the bacon. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> that side looks good. Look at this backside. It's got a skinny, <laughs> skinny, skinny backside. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta start at the backside. I want the last bite to be the best bite, but... Mmm! 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 -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
a, uh, it's kind of like a, a cheesesteak, like Charlie's cheesesteak. Charlie bit me. Get him in the head. Charlie, Charlie bit me. It's like a, ooh, see the drips? I love that. We got a gusher out here. What about the spicy version? I forgot. You can barely, barely, barely see that, but there are some jalapenos in there. And this is what makes up the burger. I put the, uh, these are all the ingredients. What makes it special, makes it so good. Mmm, yeah, it tastes like a cheesesteak sub. That dripping is not cheese, that dripping is the, uh, the oil from the steak. Which does not bother me one, one bit. I'd rather be juicy and dripping than dry. I always get the best luck when I come doing these videos. See, they, even that looks pretty good still, doesn't it? A little bit spicy. Those jalapenos, they're the, uh, the kind of jalapenos you buy in a jar. The um, pickled jalapenos, they're good. They're too spicy. Sandwich is still hot. Most of the flavor is there in the beef though. It's got a good beef flavor. Barely taste the bacon. Not really getting much of a bacon flavor in there, but yeah, this bite's for you guys. <clears throat> this bite's for you right there. Take a bite, open wide. There you go, there you go. You got a big bite there. The original steak and bacon, not the spicy version, has barbecue sauce. Uh, my version removes the barbecue sauce, adds the jalapenos and I think a spicy cheese sauce or something like that, which I think is better. It tastes more like a steak and cheese sub, you know? It's pretty good. But uh, something has been on my mind lately. And you're gonna say, are you crazy or something? But this is what happens, man. I'm in the shower and I gotta shave. I like to shave in the shower, okay? It makes, you, it makes your skin softer, the, it cuts better, you know? The blade cuts through the hair better when you're in the shower. And so I get the mirror. It's in the, it's in the shower. It's on the backside, you know? You can see it. I can see it. I'm taking a shower. I can see the mirror there. It's not foggy. Just sitting there. I mean, the the, the mirror, the, the the shower's hot. But for some reason, the mirror doesn't fog up. And uh, until I pick it up, until I need it, and then as soon as I pick it up, it's instant foggy. It's like I get this magical mirror that instantly knows when I need to use it, and then fogs up. It's like, why doesn't it just stay unfogged? Like. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know, guys. You're in there 10 minutes, not foggy. As soon as you pick it up to shave your face, where you need the reflection. When you don't need it, it's not foggy. When you need it, it fogs up. I don't know. This this video has been all over the place, but thank you guys for staying by. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're still here at this you know, end of the video, jeepers, creepers, man. If you're here this long, you might as well hit that subscribe button. You know, what the heck? Why not? Why, why the heck not? You know? Um, Put a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I love you. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.